What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K, back again with another video. Do me a huge favor. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please, so you know when your boy's dropping these doses. I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, you see it on my screen, right? This is a list. Let me see if I can make this any bigger. Yes, I can this is a list of the Stadia games that are available. Just a snapshot of them. This isn't all of them. But, you know, I'm enjoying this lineup particularly now. Even though it's limited, I'm enjoying the lineup. Particularly since they added Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Since they added Borderlands 3. As you see, I, I purchased both of those. Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? We got Darksiders Genesis. I'm really enjoying that game. I do got to pick up uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. I'm, I'm contemplating that. Um, but I got the Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. I got, uh, you know, Samurai Showdown. I got Metro Exodus, right? And, and I got Destiny. You know what I'm saying? I got the... The Stadia exclusive version of Destiny. All right. So, as far as I'm concerned, even though it's light in volume, I'm not one of those Country Inn Buffet or, or Golden Corral type gamers. Rather, let me get into this century. I'm not a Golden Corral. Country Inn Buffet is like decades and decades old. Uh, I, I'm not. A, I, I'm not a Golden Corral gamer. I don't want a whole bunch of low quality, small games. I want the big heavy hitters. And as far as what is presented in the Stadia lineup right now, I get it, 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 as far as multiplats, all of the heavy hitters from 2018 to 2019 in a lot of ways are in this lineup. You got Red Dead Redemption. You got Shadow of the Tomb Raider. You know what I'm saying? You got Assassin's Creed. You know, Assassin's Creed, um, I think I released this. I probably have. This is probably my first time speaking on this. But Assassin's Creed was my runner-up to Game of the Year for 2018. My Game of the Year for 2018 was Far Cry 5. You know what I'm saying? But Far Cry is coming via Uplay Plus. But I'm just talking about right now. They got all of the heavy hitters, just about, um, that I love to play here in the lineup. And what they've done for most of them is they've heavily discounted them. Now, I get it. Red Dead Redemption 2, it, it's not going to get it. You know, that's, this is Rockstar, baby. Rockstar ain't got a bid for nobody. I get that. But let's look at Shadow of the Tomb Raider. That was $60. $60. And then they dropped that down to $24. And to fulfill a promise that I made to stay there because they looked out for your boy. I, and and I, I won't speak on that just yet when the time is right. But they looked out for your boy. Um, per a request that I made, I got to pick that back up. You know what I'm saying? I, I asked them to do something. They, you know, they helped me out. You know, th this is the best customer service ever. You know what I'm saying? And no fuddy-duddy stuff. You know, no fuddy-duddy or fudgeting thing behind the scenes. But I had made a promise to them that they didn't even ask me for. For them to look out for me on the customer service side. And I'm going to fulfill that promise. But look at that. Shadow of the Tomb Raider is $60, was $60. And for the holidays, they dropped it down to $24. There's one last thing that we're waiting for to happen. That's this puppy right here. Rage 2. It was perfect that that came in because it is perfect. And when Rage 2 drops, I think Rage 2 should be $30, $35 at the most. When this puppy drops and I get to play it at 60 frames per second above 1080 that's locked on the console, because Stadia, in all likelihood, is going to have that capability. When I can play this above 1080 and 60 frames per second, to me, that's it. That's the that's that's the nail in the coffin as far as making Stadia 
a more preferred platform over consoles right now until we head into the next gen. Because we got Cyberpunk coming. It's going to perform better on Stadia than it is on the consoles. People are just talking about resolution. Uh -uh. Uh-uh. A real game hog knows that when you talk about overall performance and visuals, frames play a very important part in that. And the frame rates that are offered with Stadia far exceed what's offered on the most powerful console in the world, right? Their biggest competitor right now, the, the, the Xbox product. You know what I'm saying? And that will fully pull me away from worrying about any console opposite of the PlayStation until 2020 when the next ones come out. Then we'll see where everything stacks up there. So Bethesda, here's a request from Stadia Dosage. Here's a request from the Stadia community that is growing. I I implore y'all. You know what I'm saying? Going into this generation, y'all were my favorite devs. Perfect. Perfect. You know, y'all stumbled along the way, but that's okay. I still love y'all. But I'm saying this. Don't be Grinches this holiday season. Drop that price of rage too. Get it in more hands. If you do that, I'm good. I'm complete. This was just supposed to be like a, a play test thing for me with Stadia. And you would have truly turned this from a play test thing for me to do for the community into a full fledged, this is it, baby. Next to my PC, this is it. Help the platform, help this phenomenal tech get the, the get get the groundswell that it deserves. And you gotta do that with software. And things like uh, comparing this to Shadow of the Tomb Raider with the overall performance. Comparing this to Borderlands 3 on the console I'm, I'm referring to. Looking at the overall performance. Comparing this to what can be done on the console for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I'm talking about overall performance. When you put the big games out there and make them very accessible to the people. Like have been done in, in most cases then it's astounding and we don't gotta rely on Digital Foundry and their agenda just to look and take out their monocle and just look at polygons and sprites. Because we all know again, that for full visual effect, frames play a very big part in that. And even some of the biggest naysayers can tell you, look, the frame rate performance on Stadia exceeds the most powerful console, period. So come on Bethesda. I got faith in y'all. I know it's been a rocky 2018 and somewhat of a rocky 2019, but this will do a lot of favor for y'all because where they tried to crap on y'all on the console side, we'll walk in you, we'll, we'll love you and welcome you with open arms here over, over here at the stadium side, okay? Come on, so let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get Rage 2. Around $30, $35 for the holidays just for a couple weeks so people get it in their hands. Work with our homies at Stadia. Do it for the community and do it for the tech. All right? And with that said, that is it from your boy MM2K on the Stadia dosage. Let me know what you think about that. Would y'all really enjoy that? If so, speak up. Say something. All right? I put a post out there on Twitter. Follow that post. Retweet it. Let's do it, community. I put a link to that post in the, in, the, in the comment section. But who cares what I think? Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you enjoy my content, you can check me outside of the Stadia dosage with the Broadband Bullies, the PNTS Network, the Hard Not Digital Culture. Links to all that provided below. And with that being said, hey, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. I'm going to get this Borderlands 3 because we're going to break point. Cross my fingers at <laughs> Bethesda's listening to this. Peace.